You can download the arts in the video for free, link in the description. Go to any sprite within your game that you want to have the shader applied to. Drop down material, then select the empty and add a new shader material. Then drop down shader and add a new shader. I will name it 2D pixel outline, select it. In the code, I will create two export variables. These are called uniform. Outline color is the color of the outline and is represented by a vector 4 that contains an RGB and A for opacity. And we have a boolean if we want pixels on the corner of our outline or not. For functions, we use void and we use the built-in fragment function, which simply runs its code on every pixel of the object the shader is applied to. Inside, we will define a variable called base, which will check what the current RGBA value of the current pixel is. And with an if else statement, we'll check if the pixel is not completely transparent, meaning that we shouldn't place an outline there. So we set color to base, which ensures that the given pixel remains the same color as without the shader. Else, we create a vector2 variable that stores the real pixel size of the sprite inside of the two boolean variables that we create. For valid size, we use the image pixel size variable to check if any of the pixels on the current pixel's sides are solid. And in valid corner, we check if any any of the corners to the current pixel are solid. This is so in our final if statement, we can check if there is either a solid side or that we allow corner pixels and there is a solid corner. Then we can set this current pixel to be an outline pixel. Now with the uniform variables at the top of the shader, we can drop down shader parameters on the right and we can edit the color of the outline and choose to enable corners or not. Just make sure that each object using this shader has a different shader material at the top, meaning that if you duplicate the sprite, then you will need to select the drop down and hit make unique. Additionally, you will need to make sure that the sprite has at least one pixel of empty space on all sides that you want the outline to affect. Now you have a pixel art outline with configurable color and choice for corners that you can edit and improve further. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.